Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a regulated box mod. Shocker. Um, but not just any regulated box mod. One that kind of doesn't need any introduction and is probably known all the way throughout the vaping community. And that is the Wapari. Now this is the V3. Um, there have been, there's been four different separate designs of the Wapari. The V1, which was slightly larger and a lot more square on the frame. And it also had a rather hideous W box um, engraved onto the front, just my opinion. Uh, and on the second one, the V2, Slightly smaller, slightly more rounded, um, with probably better work on the internals and the wood. The V3, which is the one I have here, which is smaller still, very rounded, very smooth on the C frame, really nicely done actually. Uh, lovely quality on the wood and probably better internals still. And then the SX version of the Wapari, which is kind of his latest edition, which I haven't used yet. I do have one on the way, but looks incredibly nice as well. Looks more like the V3 with the, the smoother frame, and uh, it does some really nice sort of lacquer on the woods. So they look actually rather incredible. Now, I would, would like to start by talking about this C-frame thing that we've got going on at the moment. Now we're seeing more and more and more C-frames coming out, and yes, Wapari was the very first one. But I've seen a lot of arguments at the moment about the being clones, C-frames being clones, and I'd just like to address that in a way, and, and I feel personally, me personally, as long as it's not a one-to-one -one copy, a counterfeit, then I don't see any difference than, say, the next tube mod that came out after the first one if you know what I mean. I mean, none of us called a Paps X a clone of the Nemesis, did we? Uh, yet they were both a tube mod. Um, they both had extension tubes rather than individual tubes. They both had a switch. They both had a top cap. Um, you know, and, and, and the same goes throughout. I just see a C-frame mod as kind of like a new style or a new popular style of mod that we're, we're getting now. And to be honest, if these different versions of these C-frames came out, then you would have literally no chance at owning one of these. I mean, the Wapari is incredibly difficult to get hold of, just in the same vein as, say, a Geppetto, etc., etc. Um, it's exceedingly hard. I mean, I even contacted Teppo, who is the designer and manufacturer of the Wapari. He's a Finnish guy. And, and asked him um, if I could buy a Wapari for review, or if he could let me know where the next list was, um, so that I could try my hand at getting one for review and I was promptly ignored um, and been ignored for the last few months so uh, fuck me right uh, but all's good because uh, I know a few people in the vaping world and I managed to get hold of one through a trade so uh, fuck you right back uh, only joking. Um, but yeah incredibly hard to get hold of I mean the the lists are quite scarce on these there's not a huge amount in circulation and in the marketplace in the buyers market these go for ridiculous money so, there being other styles of the C-frame makes it a lot easier and more likely that people are going to get hold of one. I mean, I mean, I've, I hear a lot of people now, I reviewed the Black Rose last week and I heard a lot of people call that a Zero clone. But then, you know, wouldn't the Zero be a clone of the Wapari and so forth? We have the Paul Merrick, we have the Ds, we have the Champion, um, we have the Black Rose, we've now got a Tesseract that's coming out. I mean... A lot of a lot of these C frames are out and about now, and a lot of people are either buying them because they're popular, or some people are calling them clones. Well, to me, unless it's a counterfeit, unless they're robbing it, packaging it, and calling it something that it actually isn't, then it could be just another style. And luckily for all you consumers out there, more chance for you to get hold of one. You know, a lot of zeros are out in circulation. Um, a lot of Paul Merricks are out in circulation. So, you know, with these influx now of C-frames, you're going to get a chance to, to get one. Maybe not a Wapari, maybe not a zero, maybe not a champion. Um, but there could be one to cater for you there. So that's just my views on it, right or wrong. You know, um, whether you believe in that or not, it's up to you. But as long as it's not being dressed up and called something that it actually isn't, I just think it's just another style that are coming out now. You know, if something gets popular, of course other people are going to try and bring out something in the similar vein to make it more accessible and to make some money off of it. Anyway, 
Moving on to the Wapare. Um, now, it's had some bad press, the Wapare. Funnily enough, it's never uh, stopped it from being as popular it is and, and making as much money as it does. I mean, in the, in the marketplace, these are going for ridiculous amounts of money. I've even seen some go for up to like $3,000, you know, on like vape auctions or something like that. They are in, incredibly sought after. But it has had some bad press with gaps in the wood and uh, some bad internals, you know. Uh, but the, the V3 seems to have... Uh, hardly any of those um, imperfections. It, it's not perfect, but it does have a few, I mean, it's got a little bit of a gap through the top. I can see it at night time with the light shining through. And also there seems to be a, a little bit of a, a bad placement of the DNA chip. You know, my battery sign is a little bit under the steel. Um, and if I switch that, the W is a little bit hidden behind the steel. But there is something incredibly charming about this mod. I can't put my finger on it. It's a really lovely mod and you just can't help but love it. Um, I've got the Inax on the top at the moment. Um, just vaping it at 7.5 watts at 0.6 ohms. And uh, yeah, lovely. Now, before I get into any more details, uh, price, <laughs> where to get it from, you'll be lucky. Um, let's go down to the table now, look at it up close, um, show you all around it, and then we'll come back and we'll give it a bloody good vaping. Safe. So here you have the Wapari V3 right there, which is a DNA 30 version. Now it's 90mm in height, 40mm in length, and then 25mm in in width as well so you know you can get a nice little 25 or 24 mil bog rack to 22 there on the top if you like um, and it's uh, a lot more narrower than a lot more of the C frames that are coming out and it makes it incredibly comfortable to hold and really quite discreet as well and we've got an anti-vandal switch here we've also got your up and down buttons now i don't think they're doing a dna 40 version of this at the moment but i do know that you can somehow get them upgraded um, people will be able to do them for you there's plenty of people online doing upgrades or if you're a bit savvy then you can do it yourself it's quite easy to take this apart now i'm unsure of the species of wood on this one unfortunately i do not know but i can tell you that it's ex exceedingly nice it's a uh, really beautiful it's like a slight a reddish purpley sort of design going on there with lots of lovely patterns in the grain. Now it's quite gap free. Uh, Wapari has had a reputation for being a bit gappy. The only one I've got is kind of at the top here. You can't really see it. It is extremely small but it's one of them as well and it's late at night and uh, you say you're watching the telly you can kind of see it through it. Uh, but it's, it's not too bad at all. The, the wood is actually really nice. It's really smooth as well. It's been treated very well with kind of like a nice lacquer over the top of it. Now you can see your screen there. Now one problem I do have is the fact that my battery life level indicator is kind of hidden slightly behind the steel there as you can see and if I f uh, flip this round my W well, from my wattage is also slightly hidden. So that's a bit of a, a pain in the arse that does bother me a little bit. I will be getting this upgraded to a DNA 40 so I will mention uh, please get it nice and straight for me. But that is a pain in the arse. You, you finally get one of these or you pay the sort of money they are you expect it to be uh, near damn perfect so I was a little bit annoyed about that. On the top, we just have a simple uh, brass 510 adjustable connection in the top there. The frame itself, I think, is absolutely beautiful. It really is nice and smooth. Um, there's no sharp edges on this whatsoever. It almost feels like sort of like a like sort of how a car is curved. You know, those really nice sort of streamlined curves on it. It's uh, exceedingly well done. I really do like the frame on this. Probably the nicest frame. I've seen on a, a C-frame mod, excuse me, but I'll focus there. On the bottom, you'll find your battery cap. you also find engraved, or can I call it scratched into the mod itself, you'll have your W and your serial number, this being number 163. The battery cap itself, now, I think it looks really nice. Aesthetically, it looks really nice, but for function, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. You basically have to turn it like so, and then remove your battery, which is all fine and everything, but there's kind of no grip on it whatsoever. And being no threads, you kind of have to push down and kind of twizzle it. Now, if your hands are greasy or anything like that, it can be extremely difficult because there's, there's nothing to actually catch onto uh, 
the steel itself so it can sometimes be a little bit tricky and it's definitely not my favorite and obviously there's a spring there I would much probably prefer the um, some threaded with maybe a connection to, to screw in and I do believe he's doing them on the SX versions and upgrading these to do them that way so there's the actual box itself I mean it's very pretty very nice and it is extremely charming uh, I just it I do actually love it I think for a C frame it is the nicest one, but with those little perfections, I kind of forgive it for those imperfections. I know a lot of you won't, but uh, when you use it and you feel it in the hand, it just it feels great. It's just really nice to use. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to un untake these screws and uh, we'll have a little look at the internals. Okay, so just just use my trusty little Allen key. Took my uh, three screws out. Obviously, remove your battery cap first, and then we'll just carefully move that out there and there you can see your internals now they are neat they are quite neat I've heard a you know a few bad reports about them but they are neat. they're not black rose neat um, but they are still neat and tidy you know there's there's nothing wrong there I don't see there's no hot glue no ugliness no tucking things away it's a uh, nicely done so some of the reports I've had are either bullshit or it's been sort of fixed over time and he's addressed them. So yeah, all looking rather neat and tidy there. So there you have the Wapari and t like I said, it has an, an unbelievable charm about it. I mean, it's, it's not perfect. The battery cap is a fucking pain in the arse. It really is. You know, it's not threaded. It's basically just a, a spring in there with those two little clips that you turn and... But, I mean, if your hands are a little bit slippery or they're not dry as a fucking bone, it can be a right bastard to turn that to, to basically lock it and keep it in there. Without a battery in it, you can't really have the battery cap in there because there's nothing kind of supporting it. So you kind of have to leave the battery cap separate on the side. It's a bit of a bastard. Now, I know these have been addressed with the SX Wapari and they're now, uh, I believe, threaded and also with a um, battery connector rather than a spring. I don't know 100% yet because uh, the SX I've got coming hasn't arrived. But I find that a bit of a pain in the arse. It looks quite nice, uh, don't get me wrong. It looks very smooth and a bit different, but it's a bit of a pain in the arse. Um, the fact that the chip isn't completely straight underneath the steel, I mean, it, it, it's slightly off-centre, so it hides a fraction of my um, battery life um, reading. Or, if I switch it round, it hides a slight part of my W from my wattage. Right pain in the arse, and it really bugs the fucking life out of me. Um, and then there's that tiny little gap at the top. I mean, I can see through it now. Bugs are life out of me. It's just like, what? But, it's an like I said, an incredible charm about it. I really, really like this C-frame. It's actually my favorite one um, that I've ever used. Now, I think it could be down to the fact that it is slightly narrower to uh, all of the other C-frames. They seem to be a lot more square. They seem to be a lot more square and uh, slightly larger than this. Now, this is incredibly kind of small, as you can see there, how it fits in the hand. Almost sort of like ice stick small. Uh, no offense to Wapari now, I'm not comparing it to a fucking ice stick. But you know what I mean, it has that sort of narrower shape. It is a bit taller and uh, a lot more narrower. Now, I really like the frame on this Wapari, uh, this would be the V3, now I have had a V2 and it is more square than this. This has been rounded off exceptionally well and it's really smooth and looks really sort of, you know, like on a nice car when you have those really nice shapes to it, really nice curves and they look very streamlined, the same as on the Wapari. I mean, there's not a sharp edge on this in the slightest, it's incredibly, incredibly smooth and looks absolutely fantastic. And it. it it is a very, very charming mod, uh, you know, even with those slight imperfections, you forgive it and still feel that it's a, an absolute cracking mod. Now, I will be getting this upgraded to a DNA 40, so I can have that chip sorted. But to buy one and to have it like that, I, you'd be a little bit pissed off, to be honest, but then you'll find yourself forgiving it five minutes later when you're using it. You think, oh, I can live with that because it's so incredibly charming. It's uh, unbelievable. Now you do have an adjustable 510, um, which is brass, and no problems there. The majority of C-frames are, 
so it's just a little bit of extra work switch is nice buttons are nice as you can see there they're not um vertical they're horizontal so um horizontal they're vertical they're not horizontal i keep fucking that up so uh they're slightly different to what you usually expect either side to side but these are up and down like so and it still looks incredibly nice the wood on this one is really pretty i don't know what the wood is on this like i said i could ask uh, the uh maker as many questions as i wanted and i doubt i'll get a fucking answer so why bother um so unfortunately i don't know what the actual um the uh, species of wood this is but it's extremely pretty and extremely well done it's a very smooth his head has some sort of lacquer treatment on it um, so it is incredibly nice actually and really nice to look at so um, yeah now to get these there was a website at one point I have checked this morning it seems to be down but I do know that now they um, are doing their lists through Facebook so a lot of you are going to be pissed off about that they did have a website and they did used to have a Google Doc that went up on the website and you could get one that way if you were lucky enough and if you were fast enough to get your name down um, but now it's kind of all moved over to, to Facebook they do have a page I think it's called Diablo Liquid I'll put the um, website I'll put the Facebook link in the description no point putting the website link now because it's not there anymore um, and yeah it's that same thing a list goes up you put your name down on a Google Doc if you're fast enough or if they randomize it then you'll have the chance to buy one and the prices do range I think between 380 euros and that is possibly for the DNA 30 version to 430 euros and I believe that is the SX version so uh, they're not cheap either but they're about the going rate of what these high-end mods are nowadays as well they do hold their value very well and like i said it does have some imperfections it isn't perfect but there is something about this mod that that you just can't help but fall in love with uh, it's incredibly charming so there you have the wapari v3 um crappy battery cap uh the screen is just a little bit under the um the steel there um tiny little gap in the top of the wood but for some reason i fucking love it i think it's awesome uh probably my favorite c-frame i think it's beautiful so uh <laughs> who would know there you go so uh, anyway thank you very much for watching this slightly rambled review and uh, i will see you on the next one stay safe